Good morning. My train is in 18 minutes and I've just barely got up and dressed. Time to pack in five minutes when my Uber will be here. <laughs> minutes to get to somewhere that's about 40 minutes away so this is going to be interesting environment in the, in the wards at least and they had this lovely tradition which still goes on relatives helping enormously uh, in the care the day-to-day -day care of the patients along with the nursing staff somebody can do the math how many brain injuries happen while i give the 30 minute talk two brain injuries every three seconds and that doesn't account for all the brain injuries the mild one concussions that actually don't uh, they're not pay, uh, brought for medical attention everybody knows the story of king arthur Okay, I am <laughs> absolutely exhausted. It's half past seven and we've just finished for the day or just gone half past seven. Um, really, really interesting. Lots of cool, lots of cool talks. Um, just going to make my way, it started raining unfortunately, but make my way back to Brixton Tube Station. I've got to end up in Golders Green in North London. Um, I don't really know where I'm going, I'm terrible at navigating in London, particularly as far as the tube goes, but we'll see. So I've successfully made it to the house where I'm staying tonight, in a very, very weird dynamic. Um, the very nice doctor and her presumably very nice partner um, aren't here yet, but her husband's dad has led me into the house who is also a very very lovely man but it's just such a strange dynamic so i'm just going to wait for them to come home they both turned out to be massive gamers and there was a nintendo switch downstairs so we ended up playing very competitive um, Super Smash Brothers until like gone 2 a.m. But both, both just astonishingly lovely people. Got off at Brixton again. It's like a 20 minute walk or, you know, a five or six minute Uber. I've had two Ubers cancel on me. Um, which has been a delightful experience. <laughs>
Kids had circumference is 47 in utero, and mine is 56 now. Uh, so obviously the C-section to get the child out, and then we operated the day, the day after, I think, or the same day. And I'm home. Um, it's just after 11 p.m. Sunday evening. Uh, God, I look terrible. I've had maybe eight hours of sleep in two days. I'm absolutely knackered, but I'm also massively inspired. It's really, really, really quite strange. But back home, safe and sound, at any rate, in Cobb. Um, there is one more thing to do before I round up this uh, this vlog. As you know, any medical conference can be rated for its quality by the contents of its goodie bags. So I think we'd better have a look, because I actually haven't had a look through the goodie bag yet from the conference. I was saving it for you guys. My beard is disgusting. I need a shave. So let's just start with the bag itself. Cotton, cotton tote bag. Lovely. Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh. Interesting choice. Might be independent soon and therefore not worth as much, but who knows? So, let's just dig into our goodie bag. Aha, right, I have seen this. This is the conference guide. I love these very, very professional looking books. So obviously the things we did. Uh, Bran, my boy, <laughs> brain book man who convinced me to go. Shout out to Mr. Brandon Smith. I thought that was a really cool touch as well on the back of the book. Next. Oh, oh yeah, my delegate badge, whoops. Um, so very professional, look at that, weekend ticket with our itinerary on the back, again on an RCS Ed lanyard, 
It's just like a lucky dip. Hello. Oh, oh, hello. Now this is an excellent swag bag item. Love a good bookmark. Look at this. Great logo. Fantastic. Oh, something. Oh yeah, this is this wasn't actually this wasn't in the goodie bag, but I put it in here. This is my first ever attempt at burr holes. One of them a little bit better than the other. I didn't realise that the pedals were as sensitive as they are, so I just floored it and went all the way through this mock 3D printed bone. So yeah, if you ever do burr holes, you can actuate the pedal much more finely than you'd think. Your guide to the MRCS, not super relevant for me just yet. These are the sort of qualifying surgical exams to get you into specialty training of at least a sort of ST3 level. Ackland Anatomy, yep, um, we actually get this through Warwick Medical School, or we did in my first year, I don't know whether they still do, but it's it's a cool anatomy learning resource. What do we have? RCS Ed Pen. Keeping going, hello. Oh, a 3D printed brain. King's International Neurosurgical Conference 2019. This is very clearly 3D printed. Um, I can't tell quite what it's made of. It might be ABS. I'm not sure who printed these. It may even have been Bran. I wouldn't put it past you, Brandon. Oh, there's something reasonably sized. Is this a notebook? Yep, I can write things on the first few pages and then never use the rest of it again, as is my want with notebooks. Um, oh, oh, very nice. We're keeping going, we are keeping going. Oh, is this one of those, I think it's a stress ball. This packaging is stressing me, so I can't get into it. We keep going. Um, I don't know what this is. Um, oh, Handbook of Neurosurgery. Yeah, there are a few copies of this floating around at the conference. Don't have 89 quid to spend on a neurosurgical handbook right now. I'm sure there may be a sponsor or something for the conference. These are quite good, these patient information handbooks, certainly for explaining things. I'm not sure how medically useful they are, but certainly good for explaining things to patients. We got more. We got post-it notes. We're down to our last few, our last two by the feels items. What is? Oh, Brains Trust. Okay, yeah, I've heard of this before. So I think, again, these are patient information resources. And last but certainly not least, a green pen that I stole from one of the stands when the person wasn't looking. Suture doctor, I think it says. Suturing doctor. And that is it. The stocking is empty. What a lovely bag. So there we are, guys. Um, we've reached the end of this, this little escapade. It's been a real adventure. Seen some really, really inspiring things. Um, in case anyone from the King's Committee ever watches this video, God help you if you do but uh, you have done an exemplary job. It's hands down the best, not just surgical, not just neurosurgical, the best medical conference I've ever been to in my two and a bit short years at medical school. The quality of the speakers, quality of the practical workshops, is absolutely spot on. I can't imagine the amount of organizing and wrangling that that many consultants and registrars um, must have logically taken. I've certainly had a fantastic time. My goal when I go to these conferences is to become reinvigorated um, because I do fluctuate on, on, on my career goals depending on my mental state at the time. Um, sometimes, you know, I get up and I'm like, yes, one day I'm going to be a neurosurgeon. And then some days I think, you know, I could, I could just become a GP. Not that being a GP is easy, but the, the training pathways that you would have to go down are just not as competitive and less stressful. And then some days I wake up and I think, God, medicine is actually really hard. I could just go and do something else. Um, but these, these events are a really, really good way to stay focused, expose you to lots of cool new ideas and remind you why you're doing the things that you're doing, particularly seeing some of the paediatric um, side of things Peds is a specialty that I really like. I unfortunately don't have that much experience in it yet. Certainly, I've not done anything to be a particularly competitive applicant at the moment if I wanted to do ST1 Peds. Um, but paediatric neurosurgery, I'm sure it's a very competitive subspecialty. 
Um, but I really enjoyed seeing particularly the in utero spina bifida repair. That's one of the things that's really stuck with me from this conference. But yeah, that's quite long enough. I'm going to go to bed. But before I do, I'm going to edit this all together so it'll be ready for you guys in the morning. So I'm just, I'm too excited not to share it with you tomorrow. So I hope you all enjoy this video, guys. Um, it was so great to meet those of you that I only know through Instagram or social media, to meet some of you at the conference. That was really cool. I made some new friends there. Um, please stay in touch if we did. Lastly, thank you King's Neurosurgery SOC Committee for organising an amazing conference and thank you very much Gwen and Uri and Uri's father for letting me stay with you um, overnight, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to come at all. So thank you all. Hope you enjoy the video.